Smoke from the wildfires raging across Canada continues to bring a thick haze across New York City. The air quality is so bad that the city has some of the worst air pollution in the world. I can't believe we beat Beijing. We did. Joining us this morning is New York City Emergency Management Commissioner Zach Iskall. Nice to have you back. Great to be here. Right so, now. Commissioner, yep. I, I want to know, we all want to know, is it going to be as bad today as it was yesterday? So, uh, the hope is it's not. Um, but here's the thing about forecasting smoke. It is very, very hard to do. Even if you look at earlier this week, uh, the forecast on Monday and Tuesday for the following days, so the forecast for Tuesday, the forecast for yesterday, Wednesday, uh, never were above 200. Mm. So it's hard to predict exactly what this could look like today. Um, we do know that um, there are going to be some winds later this afternoon that could push smoke back in from the south, from, uh, from offshore back into the so city. So what does that mean? Like so that means it could get bad again later today. We yeah. are hoping that things will start to improve throughout the weekend. And then by next Tuesday, we have a front moving in that should definitely move everything out. But again, the, the forecast for smoke, unlike weather, really only goes about 24 hours out. It's very hard to do just because there are so many more variables to measuring smoke, the amount of smoke, the amount of wildfires, hmm. what's actually burning in addition to the weather patterns that make it difficult to but forecast. But you're the Office of Emergency Management. We've got okay. a lot of emergencies to manage. Okay, and so I think a lot of people, there are reports today, was your office prepared for something like yeah. this? So we don't have a, and we spoke about this yesterday at our press conference, and I think there's a little bit of, of misinformation there. We have over 100 plans for the city. We have a, a backpack full of plans for the city. Um, we don't have a specific plan for wildfire fires. But what we do have is we have what are called all hazard plans that apply to a variety of different types of emergencies based on the impacts and what the effects are in New Yorkers. So in that sense, we have things that we always can do that are in our, in our hip pocket that we can apply to situations like this. Speaking about effects of New Yorkers, have you heard of any um, increases with hospital EMS systems reacting to some emergencies due to the smoke in the air? Yeah. I'm still waiting for the morning report to come out for in terms of hospital capacity. We did not see that yesterday. That's good news. We did not see a significant increase in wait times for EMS. Yeah. Um, and it looks like people are heeding the guidance that we've been putting out. And we've been putting out guidance on this since June 1st, mm -hmm. uh, since we saw an uptick. People with health issues need to take precautions. Um, and then yesterday, once you sort of get above 300, especially when you get above 400 with the AQI, um, that's really where people who are healthy need to start really taking precautions, yeah. limiting times outdoors, wearing masks, uh, doing those types of things. Is there a specific way to wear masks correctly? Because I've seen some stuff online, whether you have the blue side facing out or the white side, and it kind of correlates to what you breathe in and out. I think mask. it depends on the mask, but you should be wearing a K95 mask or higher, and uh, you should make sure it has a good seal, and you should be wearing it when you're outside, uh, especially when you have the types of pollution that we had yesterday. I know that, you know, breathing in obviously could be bad for your lungs, all that smoke, but they said it's like smoking cigarettes, right? Um, but the eyes, I found my eyes were really irritated mm, yeah. yesterday. Is there anything we can do for that? I I'd, mean, I'd recommend eye drops. I'm not a doctor, but eye drops, you know. Uh, snorkeling gear? Snorkeling gear could work. <laughs> I mean, sunglasses. Could, uh... I wear my sunglasses at night. <laughs> what do you think? Wear your sunglasses. Okay, sure. so what we should, do we do? should we do? Commissioner, should we, uh, do you have a, a website that we can yeah. follow? So the most important thing I think every New Yorker needs to do okay. is follow Notify NYC. So we are available in 14 languages, including American Sign Language. You can sign up by calling 311. You can download the app. Uh, you can also go to notify and uh, sorry nyc.gov backslash notify and sign up there. That's where we put out all the information you need, whether it's a weather emergency, whether it's uh, traffic, uh, no matter what is going on. That's the number one tool the city uses to keep, to provide information to keep people safe. So that's the first thing you should do. And then today, you know, watch the weather. Uh, we will be putting out reports. Um, if things get as bad as yesterday, stay inside. If you are vulnerable and fall into a sensitive group, um, if you have heart issues, lung issues, uh, young children, you should be staying inside if we get to the types of levels we had yesterday. And we got to walk the, the dogs. You got to walk the dogs, but keep your dogs inside unless we you're walking them. You should put a mask on them, right? Not that would be fun. <laughs> oh I God. saw a report that some people were putting N N95 masks on folks. Stop and, uh, it. No. I did not. I, I saw that on, on your show this morning, oh, that there was the, the, the report in the park. It was sort of hard for me to believe. I have three <laughs> rescue dogs. I don't know how I think they would just eat the mask. Yeah. But I think the other thing that I would recommend everybody do is, um, you know, the mayor says this all the time. 
times like this brings out the best in New Yorkers. And so if you are healthy, if you uh, fall into a group that is not at risk, uh, check in on your neighbors, mm -hmm. look out for each other. If your elderly neighbor or somebody with asthma needs something at the local corner store, put on your mask and go get it for them. But this is a time to show up for each other. And I think New Yorkers are really great at that. Maybe not every day, but <laughs> certainly during hard Come times. Come on yeah. now. Mm. <laughs> anyway, New York City Emergency Management Commissioner, Zach Eskal, nice to have you it's back. It's great to be back. Thank okay. you.